Hello everyone, welcome to the world according to Jason. It is a rainy day here in Tokyo, and so for breakfast, I think we're gonna go to Lawson. And we're back. So we went to Lawson, uh, which is one of the three big convenience store chains here in Japan. And I grabbed just a bunch of different things that I haven't tried before um, because I really wanted to give you guys a sense for what are some of the foods you can get at the three different convenience stores. This series here is primarily focused on breakfast, but I mean, as you can see, they have stuff for any meal of the day. Like there is no shortage of awesome options for you to try. So if you remember from the 7-Eleven video, and if you haven't seen that, you can, you can check it out here after this one. One. I tried what has historically been my favorite thing to get for breakfast, which was the egg salad sandwich and the tuna mayo onigiri. So we will do a video on those as well. And those things are offered at all three of the major convenience store chains. So I will also do a video that chooses the best one. So as I said, went to Lawson, which is one of the three major convenience store chains in Japan. The other two are 7-Eleven and Family Mart. And I wanted to get a, just kind of a a collection of different things that I hadn't tried before and also give you a chance to see some of the cool things you can get from there. Now they have stuff that you can get for any meal of the day. It's not just breakfast as you can see on the video screen now. They have a lot of different like plated lunches and dinners that you can get and reheat and they're amazing. So today's focus is just on breakfast and uh, so this is I guess unofficially part two of a three-part series uh, comparing the different convenience store breakfasts. So before we get started, just want to remind you, if you like this kind of content, hit the like button. It definitely helps the video out. Also make sure you're subscribed and hit the bell notification too. So when part three of this series comes out, you won't miss a beat. Also, if you missed part one, where we went to 7-Eleven, you can find that video up here. All right, well, without any further ado, let's get started. Let's see what we got here. I got a whole bunch of different things. We're gonna start savory and then go sweet. So this one I had never seen before. You know those spam and egg onigiri? It's that, but it also has tuna mayo. Pretty interested to see what this is gonna be like. I like both of these things separate. I've never tried the sausage and tuna with mayo together. Well, not sausage, spam, because you can barely qualify that as meat, but never try the two together. So this will be interesting. Ooh, all right, going in. Mmm, that's actually not bad. The tuna mayo at first kind of overpowers everything. And then as you keep going, you start to get the taste of the spam. The one thing that's kind of like drowned out by all of this is the egg. I don't really get much of an egg taste. Um, let's try that again. Okay, that bite had less tuna and mayo in it, um, so I was able to taste the egg, but I'm actually pretty surprised at how much I like this. I was really apprehensive about egg and sausage and tuna mayo together, but it, it actually works. So yeah, I would totally get that again. That was actually really tasty. All right, I actually probably should have started with this because it was warm and it's been sitting next to cold stuff. But they also have in their like little hot cabinet, they have a bunch of different like fried chicken options. They also had some, looks like fried cheese. There was a sausage, a bunch of different things. But this, they had a couple different flavors of. This was lemon. They also had red, which I'm assuming is spicy. We'll have to try that some other time. And then just like their standard flavor. So there's also some reheating instructions in the back, but I don't have a microwave. But what I do like about these is they give you a little toothpick to get the chicken out. They don't smell super lemony, but maybe they have a stronger taste. All right, let's give it a shot. Mmm, that is actually really good. The lemon's more of a subtle lemon flavor. It's kind of like if you just squeeze a little bit, like a few drops of lemon juice out of a lemon over the chicken. It's actually really good. And the chicken itself is really tasty. I am really digging this. This is super, super delicious. That was actually way better than I thought it was gonna be. I, I think I like that more than the Spam Egg Tuna Mayo Onigiri. Now we're gonna take a quick drink break. So here we have a peach flavored soda and it's really cool because it's in a clear can. Like, well, it's plastic, so it's not aluminum, but it's clear. That's, that's really, really cool. Let's give it a shot. Cheers, guys. Ooh, that tastes like you're eating a peach. Well, a carbonated peach. Oh, mm, that is so tasty. That is so crisp, so refreshing. And it doesn't have an artificial peach taste. Like it literally tastes like I'm eating a peach. That is so awesome. All right, what's next? Let's see. We have two things left and then one more drink. So this one here is called a Tokyo Rocky S'more. Now they had the strawberry flavor and then they had a, like a regular chocolate flavor. I grabbed the strawberry one because I loves me some strawberries. 
So it looks like it's got like a pastry crust with like strawberry whipped cream and little bits of strawberries on top. And then I think there's chocolate on the bottom. So let's give it a shot. Here we go. Oh. It's not cream, it's a marshmallow, hence with the name S'more. I'm smart. But um, it's not too not too bad. The marshmallow is nice and fluffy. The strawberry shavings on top add a nice tart taste to it. The chocolate cream or mousse or whatever's on the bottom is pretty tasty. So this isn't bad. That was actually really tasty. So one last drink break before we finish the last item. I think this is a, like a cafe au lait. Wasn't quite sure. It could be a yogurt drink though, because it was kind of in the section with all the like yogurt drinks. I'm so smart. Okay. It was kind of in the yogurt section drink, so was in like near like the yogurt drinks. So this may be a cafe au lait flavored yogurt drink. It does feel really thick. So that's probably what it is, but let's give it a shot. Well, cheers. No, it's not a yogurt drink. I think it's just like a milk coffee kind of a like cafe au lait. I think that's all it is. It's pretty tasty. It's definitely very creamy. The coffee has a nice flavor. It's not too bitter. I actually kind of like this. I'm digging it. Wow. Definitely get this, if you like coffee, that is. Okay, so now it's time to go to the last thing. And I found a Sando in their sandwich section that I had never seen before, at least at a convenience store, but I don't think I've seen it anywhere. And it is cheesecake and whipped cream. I mean, that sounds awesome. I have high hopes for this one. Again, I love sandwiches here because they cut the crust off. There's not even a hint of crust on this sandwich. It is so awesome. All right, well, cheesecake and whipped cream sandwich going in. Mm. That actually tastes more like cheesecake than I thought it was going to. I thought it was just going to be like cream cheese. But it tastes like a plain cheesecake and it's got whipped cream and delicious bread with it. It's really good. The only thing missing from like a cheesecake experience is that delicious graham cracker crust, but this is actually pretty tasty. All right, well, that was the last thing I have for this video. I think um, out of all the things I tried, my favorite is gonna be the lemon chicken. And then I would say probably number two would be whipped cream and cheesecake sandwich. Then number three would be the spam egg and tuna mayo onigiri. So that wraps up the top three of this, at least of this video. I know there's a ton more stuff to try. So when you do come to Japan, definitely don't sleep on the convenience stores. They are like a treasure trove of delicious food. Well, folks, that's going to bring us to the end of this video. Before we close, I'd like to know for all of those out there that have been to Japan, which convenience store is your favorite and what's your favorite thing to get for breakfast at that convenience store? If you like this video, please make sure you hit the like button. It really does help the channel grow. Also, make sure to stay tuned to the channel by subscribing and hitting that bell notification. So as soon as new videos pop up, you're going to be the first to know about it. Thank you so much for sticking around to the end, and until next time, stay curious.